Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Murray Thompson, Fighters Factory, main event, timekeeper Damien Memory, ringside physician Dr. John Jury. Your judges are signed for this international 10 rounds of welterweight boxing. Brian Membry, Ellen McColl, and Anika Williams. The referee in charge of the action, WBF World Championship referee judge, Chris Anderson Sr. Analyzing the numbers, Brett Osler and Dean Lapis, chairman of the Professional Boxing Combat Sports Board of Victoria, Bernard W. Barmer. Commentators, Gus Mercurio, Frank Ropers, Howard Lee is my name, boxing is my business. Ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds of welterweight boxing. Introducing first in the red corner with Bruce Glosier, joining Louis Corica, Keo Corica, and Joe Amato. We're proud to have in Australia this young man, originally from Chicago, USA, Va Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Now he's proud to say he's a resident of Concord, Sydney, Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, an international man, an international man of boxing, rated by ESPN Cable Channel USA as the most exciting boxer in the United States of America. He's fought, ladies and gentlemen, in Russia, Germany, Puerto Rico, Madison Square Garden. He's fought the biggest guns in the world. Floyd Mayweather Jr., John John Molina, Ivan Robinson, and Mickey Ward in 2000. And one, voted by ESPN Cable Television as the most exciting fight of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, he's had 68 fights, 38 wins, 6 draws, 24 losses, 20 inside the distance. At 66, 0, 5 kilograms, ladies and gentlemen, wearing camouflage trunks, Emmanuel Outlaw E40 Augustus Augustus and across the ring voted Australia's most exciting fighter the Nigerian Flash now resident not a wanting Victoria Fighters Factory's pride and joy he's a true blue Aussie boy at 67.70 kilograms Ladies and gentlemen, a perfect record. 13 fights, 13 wins, 11 inside the distance. Recently turned 24, the big O, Owali Omotoso. Chris Anderson, give referee's instructions. Referee's instructions, Chris Anderson. Hey boys, remember what we spoke in the dressing room, protect yourself at all times. Here's a neutral corner there in case of a knockdown. You'll stay there until I signal for you to come out. Okay, good luck, boys. Okay, Frankie, a very anticipated fight, this one. Watch this guy. He is very clever, very shifty, very hard to nail. In the leopard trunks, not the camouflage trunks. That's Emmanuel Augustus. Been with everybody. And there's the big O. Omotoso, your fella. You call him Comatoso because that's where he leaves most of his opponents. Be interesting to see what happens. This is one to watch and to savor. Emmanuel sneaky right hand. Emmanuel's a very crafty fighter, you can see. He's, he's cool, he's calm. Oh yes. He got hit with the hook though. You better watch that. Omotos will hit uh, Augustus with a left hook. Brought his attention. I tell you what, Augustus is getting up pretty close. Oh, and that good could, right hand. That could be dangerous. Most certainly, but he hit him with a good right hand. 
Very hard to hit, Nate, but he hit Omatosa with a big right hand. He slips those punches beautifully, doesn't he? Yeah. Omatosa's punches are being slipped by uh, Augustus. Very evasive, too. This Very is difficult to be... hit. Yeah. Although Omatosa is going about it right, he's using the technique of keeping his jab going. Keeping the guy off balance a bit. He's keeping his <clears> cool. <throat> he's keeping relaxed. Augustus is reaching him pretty easy with that left hand, though, isn't he? Mm. I'll tell you what. I didn't. Um, I didn't think that Omotosa would be getting to him that easy, but he is. And I think there's a bit of smear of blood on his nose, on, yeah. on uh, Emmanuel's nose. Yeah. I don't think he's felt power like this. Look at this. I don't think he's felt power like that. If he gets, if he gets hurt, he can slow up. If he gets slowed up, it'll be the end. Very hard to hit, Augustus. Very, he, very he clever he fighter. That storm. That is. Very clever. Augustus is very clever. Very difficult to hit clean. He hasn't really started any of his um, <clears throat> gyrations that he's known for up to this point in time. Shaking his left hand badly. I wonder what's wrong there. See it? Yeah. Shaking his left hand badly. Hope he didn't hurt it. He looks, he's grimacing a bit. I wonder if he's felt his power. He hurt his left hand, his elbow, one of the two. It could make a big difference in this fight. I had to give that round to Omatoso. First round. I can't, <laughs> I can't believe Augustus is standing up. Yeah, well, there it is. He should be sitting down, getting you every think answer. so because if he has to sit later, it becomes a disappointment. Seven times Let's see what happens. First round went to Omatoso. Round two. Round two of this 10 round fight. Omatoso winning the first round of my card. Emmanuel being Emmanuel. Making almost a miss and sneaking right hands in it like he did then. He's a very sneaky puncher. He punches from all sorts of angles. Well, Gus is not intimidated whatsoever. Well, he's been in with Meriwether and and uh, Mickey Ward and um, John John Molina and you know guys like that that are scary in your sleep. Yeah. Augustus hasn't presented any of the uh, the Sam Solomon antics that I've expected to see from him. But I'm amazed he's backing himself. He's not intimidated whatsoever. No. Omotosa's very cool too, isn't he? Yeah. Cool as a cucumber. Oh, he's fast. His hand speed's incredible. Here comes the slave truck. Oh, yes, yes. He's not letting Emmanuel get away with anything. We're, Emmanuel. we're witnessing a world-class fighter. We certainly are. Two world-class fighters. But one on the way up. On the way up. Well said, Frank. Well said. Let's get people interested in supporting him. Oh, my He's classy. Augustus has got a touch of class, too. Yeah. And he loves it, doesn't he? He loves the he fight. He loves it. He has come here to fight. Come here to win, too, Frankie. I think so. He's got uh, the job ahead of him, though. Omatosa is special. Yeah, I Omatosa think. is special. There's no two oh, ways Oh, good, good left-hand uppercut there from Omotoso. 
he surprises me with his different kit of punches every well, once in a while too. This guy's taking the fight to Omatosa. Yeah. That's unheard of. That's right. Omatosa got a little smile on his face too. He thinks, hey, yeah, who's this guy? What is he going to beat me? Not on your jelly, Melly. Those drums are going to drive me nuts. I think Omatos is doing exactly what he has to do, man. Exactly what he has to do. Keeping his hands busy, moving, jab, jab, jab. Yep. He's Don't. just picking him off. There we go. He's doing just enough to keep in the fight and wa warm to the fight. Yeah. And uh, as the fight got, continues, I think he he'll... His talent will come to the fore, Omatosa. The other gentleman, I think he's 36 years of age. Uh, 34. 34. I well, think that's th what they've got down on the paper, but he, he might be a couple of years over yeah, that, I could think. could be, because I seem to read that he was born in 202, so that would make him 36. But... Uh, in box rec, they had him down at 34 years of age, born in 02, so that can't be right. Anyway, he's getting up there. So the further the fight goes, the more the advantage for Imatosa. A absolutely. And if he has to sit down, that's going to be a disadvantage to him. M mentally, anyway. Hey, this is the third round already in a very interesting, intriguing fight. Omatosa doing a good job with this guy. And he's the best test Omatosa's had so far. He is, and he's treating him like uh, not the best. You know what I mean? He's treating him as if he's good. Of course he's good. But he's, he's well over him, I feel. I think he's on top. Oh, yes. Those are the things that will slow the other guy down a bit. Uh, Emmanuel hasn't been as, uh, as elusive as I thought he was going to be. Oh, look, no. That's brilliant. He never got hit. Emmanuel never got hit once. <laughs> oh, this is a class act, both fighters. This is a well, a worthy fight, isn't it? Absolutely, Frank. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at that. Beautiful punches, picking them off, every one of them. Gives him the edge. Gives Emmanuel the edge in the round so far. He picked all those half a dozen punches off. He picked them in and got them in there. Landed. Don't forget, people that are watching this, punches land with the glove part of the glove, the fist part of the glove, and the scoring part of the body, the only ones that count. That left hook of Omotos is going to be there on target one time. We're going to see something happen. See, Emmanuel throws two jabs and throws a left uppercut. Beautiful. Yeah. Both guys doing exactly what they have to do, Frankie. They are. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This has got class written all over it, this fight. This is a hell of a fight. This go a long way to see a fight like this. Good fight. I'm just wondering if uh, Emmanuel can keep this pace up. Just, he got a little careless there on my toes. He can't get careless with this guy. Yeah, you can't. I'm sort of edging Emmanuel in this round, to tell you the truth. Well, he's keeping the pressure on, yeah. isn't he? He's making Omatosa do the work. Yeah. And he's staying just a bit out of range. And Omatosa can't hit him at the moment. He's very evasive, Emmanuel. Extremely very so. crafty. Yeah. 
Yes, in the basin, students for their boxes. Power punching. This is a fight a boxing purist had come a million miles to see. Yes, it, it, it's one that I expected a bit more antics from uh, Emmanuel, from all the stuff that I've seen on him. But he's in with a pretty tough kid. He's got to be careful. He'd get hurt. Yeah. But it's a good fight so far. I've got, I've got um, Omatosa up by two. But uh, it could go anyway. It could be argument either way. Yeah, but em Emmanuel is taking the fight to Omatosa. <clears throat> yeah. That's why he's not doing all that fancy work. Yeah. He does True. that when he's when yeah. he's on the back yeah. foot. That's right. He he's does on the back do that foot. when he's coming forward. Here we go, round four. So Everybody's got to like this. He's undoubtedly done his homework on Omatosa, and he thinks taking the fight to him is going to work. Good punches, good punches there. Left and right, and then the rope to the body. Intriguing fight. You've got to love his evasiveness. His attitude, too, Augusta. Yeah. I expected to see a bit more uh, S Sammy Solomon from what I've seen on the shots I've seen him in, in, in television. But he's working against a pretty good fighter here. He's got to keep himself in control. He's trying, he's trying to do what Omer Tozer normally yeah. does, yeah. intimidates his opponents. Oh, oh, good right hand from Omotoso. Good right hand. Omotoso's not shirking the duty either, is he? No. He, he's not overawed by him, is he? And that, that marks him as a good fighter as far as I can see. It does, it does. He's a hundred percent right, Gus. He's not overawed. He's still just pacing himself. Oh, yes. That Maybe big. he might be working on the theory that the longer this fight goes, the more Augusta's age is going to show. Absolutely. And he's going to slow it up a bit. And that's it. He's going to slow up a bit. Those punches are starting to hurt more. <laughs> this is a fight and a half. Oh, uh -oh. watch out now. Omotosa's coming back. Tell you what, is a world-class fighter. He is a world-class fighter. Gus, there's no doubt about that. I think he's got Omatosa in with his antics. I think so too. Omatosa's got serious all of a sudden. He's not his smiley, Ooh. happy, normal self, is he? Oh. Body punch is hurting, no doubt. Good punch there. Omotos is very evasive too. He's just as evasive as the other guy almost, really. I'm amazed he's doing what he's doing at his age. Yeah. And this is only his 14th professional fight. That's amazing what he's doing, Gus. Omotosa. Yes, it is. 14 fights. 14 this, fights. This is guy he's fighting as world experience, world class. Tell him a fight. And, and a very evasive. And he's I, putting the pressure on Omatosa. Yeah. And then the way the fight is going, both of them are doing what they have to do to win. Now all they need is that little bit of edge somewhere along the line. Because they're both being evasive. They're both hitting fairly solidly. They're both getting pinpoint punches in there. Emmanuel's left hand is still shaking a little bit, but he doesn't seem to be bothered by it that much. But he, he won't sit down in between the break, yeah. will he? At the bike. Here we go. Round five coming up. Here we go. Round five. Omotosa. I got Omotosa head just slightly. 
Oh, yes. He gains a little couple of seconds every time, doesn't he? Yeah. Takes a lot of guts and confidence to do things mm -hmm. like that. Very much confidence. Yes, sir. -y. Oh, my golly, that punch. A little bit shorter would have been it. Those punches got power from Omotosa. We know he's got power, no doubt about that. And the other thing I'm going to say now, too, Frankie, you know this as well as I do. Missing punches takes more energy than punches that land. Yep. Came up, boy, came up. He's getting hit with some pretty solid shots, though. Oh, made a mistake. Had to pay for it. I'm a toes is missing. That that was a good, yeah. good bit of sportsmanship then by both yeah. fighters. It's the respect they yeah. had for each other. And that's what fighters gain when they finish ten hard rounds and they've been through hell with each other and they hug because hey, what you've been through there is something that binds you together for the rest of your life. Well, actually, Augustus helping shape this guy's Omatosa's career, isn't he? Yes, he's he is. He's being part of it. He certainly is. I would like to see Omatosa get there. It's a, a little bit shorter. Shorten his punches up a bit. Get in a little bit closer. It's bleeding from the nose. Yeah, there's been some blood from him from about the second round on, really. Augusta. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Emmanuel's marking up very badly in the face, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. And when Omatosa turns on the power, he's something to be reckoned with. Because those shots hurt. He's got wonderful evasiveness, Augusta. Yeah. Getting hit with hooks in there in left hands, right hands. He Again, he got hit with a good right hand. Omotosa got his hands up nice and high, too, really. Hands up, head down. That's it. Just exactly that, mate. There we go. Round five. Round five. Yes, it's uh, those people that are seeing this tonight are seeing something special. Yeah. Too bad the house isn't packed to the rafters. It's, it's not for a lot of reasons, perhaps cold weather, whatever it might be. But Emmanuel's still not sitting down. I'm amazed how much Omotosa sweats in between rounds. Yeah, he does. He sweats profusely, and there's no fat. Yeah, yeah. There's not one ounce of body fat on him. Omotos looks tremendously relaxed there, though. And uh, this guy is standing. Got to work with him. Round six. Here we go. Here we go. Round six. Omotos is slightly ahead on my card. Augusta's always getting f fractionally puffy. Yes, he's getting marked up badly because of the power of Omotos' punches. That's it. Those are doing Look at it. that hand speed. He's got incredible hand speed. Oh, yes. And he did his evasions. Very good. He's getting out of that. Got out of all of that. Yes. Picking him off. He's picking him off quite easily now. This part of the round, anyway. I wouldn't go counting my chickens. Oh, yes, he's missing those punches now. His eye is going. Oh, those right hands. They have to start taking some toll. He 
He's a true professional, isn't he? Yes, he Augusta. is. Yes, he is. True professional. And look he's at the, a, look you know, look, the yeah. hard fights he's had. The big timers he's fought. But his work ethic's incredible. Absolutely. For his age. Absolutely. I think he's slowing a little bit now, to tell you the truth, Frankie. Oh. A little bit of power coming in. That left hook, both of those left hooks I had in Momotoso, both are good punches. Guy's got a rock chin, this guy. Emmanuel, <laughs> a rock chin. He's only been stopped uh, three times in his, in his 30 losses. This is a great fight. Absolutely great fight. Do that uppercut again. He's just being shaded by Omatoso. In my mind, anyway, just being shaded. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he's beat. Once he gets hurt, be the end, because he's gonna slow down more. And as he continues to slow, he's gonna get hit more. The power has been... Yeah. The power has been building up. You can see his punch is slowing down. That was an 8-10 round. That was an 8-10 round, so it takes him up a little bit ahead. I think I think this has panned out brilliantly for Omar Tozer. Okay, it's raining in England, Australia number 61. I think Omar uh, Tozer's upping the work rate. Seconds out to round seven. We're seeing something really special. Okay, here, round seven. Omatosa, I've got Omatosa three points clear now. Look at that hand speed. I think uh, Augustus be lucky he gets out of this altogether, even though he's such a pro. But the power that uh, Omatosa is laying on him is accumulative. And as it's built up, it gets more fierce. Exponentially, it gets more fierce. I'm amazed that he keeps he, his recuperative powers of yeah. Augusta. Yeah. You know, I thought he was gone that last round. I, oh, yeah, see that? Roy Jones did that with Clinton Wood when I judged him in Seattle, Washington. He must have saw, Omoto, uh, must have saw this guy do it, too. Pat I'd love right to see through. this fight go the distance, Gus. You'd like to see it go the distance. Yeah, yeah I would. well. Oh. This is going to put. Because Augustus give us a great show, hasn't he? Certainly has. He's put on a good show. But you know, where do we go from here now? I mean, Omatosa takes care of a guy like this. They can't get the Thai guys anymore. They can't get the Filipinos anymore. No, they got to pay for talent to come here. They've got to. And I think that's the way Murray's going. I well, think that's he why might we need... even take Momotosa over to the States. Well, a bit it's too soon. For... Yeah, that's true, too. I would like to see him get sponsorship here. There are people out there with a couple of thousand I can put in. Let's form a club and get some sponsorship for them. Keep them in Australia. Good punches, but nothing in them. And he comes back. The punches that came back had a lot in them.
August is an amazing man, mate. Amazing fighter. He's still there, standing. Yeah. I can't believe it. What a gutsy man. Well, as I say, he's got a good chin. He lost only three times by stoppage. In the 30 fights, he lost. Got a good chin and a big heart to boot. This is almost an 8-10 round, really. He's still taking the fight to, yeah. to Lomatosa. Yeah. He lost some of his venom, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's amazing you got through that round. Yeah, we're getting down to the nitty gritty. I, I think they're talking to what they want to do. I think they're talking to Omato, uh, to up there in the corner, telling him to take care of himself. And I don't think he'd ever quit. I don't think he'd pull the plug on his own. Corner might. The corner might, he wouldn't. Eight, eight, nine, and ten in this fabulous fight. He's always nearly closed. Yeah. And Omatosa going right to work on him. We got a world class fighter here. This is the fight Omatosa needed for the experience. The experience he gets from this is invaluable. Well, That's you know what, though? It'll, this will be beamed to the States, and they'll say, uh oh, they got a tough guy over there. Yep. And everybody's going to come running. Yeah. Maury Kirby, uh, 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 Maury uh, Thompson, Mary Thompson. He's got to protect this guy as much as he possibly can. I'd like to see him get a syndicate here. Keep him here. Get some good opponents for him. Put him in Festival Hall. Oh, wow. He's just tearing him apart now. Hey, don't write this other guy off. I guess the read this just to go the distance yeah. I'm talking. He's got no chance of winning, but don't write him off. Oh, no, can't do that because he's got some knockout power. He has stopped 20 guys. In his wins, he's been taken apart a bit, though. Plenty of courage, heart keeping him going. Yeah, but I mean to say, if Omatosa goes hard, this bloke's gonna, he doesn't want to spend all these pennies. That's right. He's got to have something in reserve because Augusta might stick around. You know, Omatos has given him his best, and he's still there. Yep. Well, he's been in there with the best, hasn't he? Yeah. We've written him off about three or four times, and he's come back. He's taken the fight to Omatosa. Getting badly marked up now. He is badly marked up. Oh, those are power punches. But when they said that he had one of the, a fight of the decade in America, yeah. I can see why it was. Yeah, he fought. Uh, he fought Ward, who fought Gaddy. Those three tremendous fights. Mickey Ward. Why hasn't this guy ever won a world title? Well, he's too much of a journeyman, taking fights on on, on quick notice. In other people's towns all around the world, gets and getting other people's decisions against them. You look at all the places he fought in the world. He's fought all over the world. Yeah, but he's got a touch of class about oh, him. Yes, but he's lost. He's got what? As I say, he's got some 30 losses on his record. Hey. Yes, it, um, 
It's a good fight. It's one a lot of people remember. The problem now, of course, is for Murray to back up with suitable opponents because people realize that he can beat this guy. You gotta have to get some suitable opponents because you can't just take the taxi drivers from Tijuana, the taxi drivers from Bangkok anymore, can you? No. So you're right there, you're 100% right there. But this is the fight he needed. This is going to tell us where he's going to go. Yeah, Emmanuel can't do anything different. He's he's in his mold. You got to fight this guy exactly the way he's fighting him. Well, he's fighting the perfect fight for what he's got. He's, yeah. You know, he's utilizing everything he's got. Augustus. Yeah. He couldn't afford a better fight. That's why I'm saying I'm amazed he's never won a world yeah, title yeah. because this is a world class fight. I suppose when he comes up against the other guys that are good, he just gets beat. Yeah, but I mean to say, if you turn the clock back 10 years, he's the same yeah. age as Omar Toza. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good punch. Good solid punch, meaningful punch. They count. Don't forget, fans, the knuckle part of the glove on a scoring part of the body counts. How is he keeping going? He looks as if he's rejuvenated. Omatosa is trying a little funny stuff there. I like the way Omatosa conserves his energy, too, you know? He's a thinking fighter. He's had a hell of an amateur career. I'm definitely going to get this video, this DVD. Because this is a great fight, Gus. You've got to admit it's a great fight. I do. Fight. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Those punches add up. And as you get hit by one, you get slowed up by one, you get hit by another. And that's it. As, you're, as your ability to evade starts to decrease you get hit by more punches which means your ability to, to evade further decreases which is a never-ending uh, 